dominion part 5c last Sunday with the grace of God I've been talking and teaching on a change of mindset change of mindset and I say this when you got born again your face never changed your looks never changed your name never changed nothing about your appearance changed but what was expected in you to change was your mindset we are born again, but we came with the wrong mentality into the church. And that's why we are still fighting even in the church because you came with a mindset, I came with a mindset, and the Bible has got its own mindset. And there must be a change in us. There must be a change. And today I'm speaking about the supremacy of light. In the book of John, chapter 1, 1 to 9, NLT. John chapter 1, 1 to 9, NLT. In the beginning, the word already existed. In the beginning, the word already existed. So, before the beginning was, before the beginning was, the word already existed. So, the word is older than the beginning. The world is older than the world. Before the world was, before anything visible and invisible was, the world already existed. In the beginning, the world already existed. The world was with God, and the world was God. The world was with God, and the world was God. And verse 2 says what? NLT. He existed. So it is not it. So the word here is not an it. The word is not a dead thing. The word of God already existed in the beginning with God. So allow me to say this. That the word and God were seated on an equal platform. The word of God was discussing with God himself. But read it. God created everything through him. And nothing was created except through him. God created everything through the word. Everything was created by God through the word. And nothing was created except through him. But for it, the word gave to life. The word gave life to everything that was created. Everything that has got life today was given life by the word. So the word is a life giving power, a life giving virtue. Minus the word, you have no life in you. The word gave life to everything that was created, and his life brought life to everyone. Look at this. And his life, and his life, the life of God, the word of God. Brought, brought life to everyone. Brought life to everyone. Verse 5 reads, The light shines in the darkness. This light shines in darkness. And the darkness can never extinguish it. Yes. So fire can be put off. But the light of God, the light of God can never be extinguished. Darkness can never argue with the light of God. Where you are right now, you are in darkness. What is causing you pain? You are in darkness, but you don't have enough light to come out of it. And until you have got enough light, you remain a subject a believer. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness can never extinguish it. Verse 6. God sent a man, John the Baptist, to tell about the light. John came to tell about the light. This 
far. We have not been told who this light is. But this light was with God. And this light is in the world. And this one is what with God. To tell about the light so that everyone might believe because of his testimony. But it is, John himself was not the light. John himself was not the light. He was simply a witness to tell about the light. The supremacy of light. Your access to the world gives you access to light. Your access to the word of God gives you access to light. So in the word of God there is light. When you carry light with you, where darkness rules, you become the master and the focus. Anywhere, any day, when you carry the light of God, when you carry solutions, you become a master in that given area. People might hate you. People might not want to be associated with you. But when you carry the light of God, people can do nothing about it. Ask any driver at night or during the night, when you have got no light, you are under the message of the motorbike. During the day, you'll be overtaking all the motorbikes. All the motorbikes, you don't care about them. Look at this motorbike. Look at this bicycle. Look at this man with a torch. Where are you going with Mulika Muiz in China? But during the night, no matter the brand of the car that you drive, whether a Mercedes Benz, whether a Range Rover, whether a Lamborghini, at night with no light, you are under the message of the person with light. You are under the masses of the person with light. Whether a torch, whether a match box, you are under the masses. If your car is so big and so powerful, but during the night it's raining and the color light, like, you will park your car. You will park your car. Yes. And many people today, you have got a great testimony, you are born again, but your life is parked. Why? Because you have got no light. Sure. You have got no light of the world. There is never a contention between darkness and light. Sure. I wish this was a question. We put on all the lights and darkness will reign automatically. And the moment we put on the lights, the moment we put on the lights, darkness does not argue. Darkness gives way to light. Praise the Lord. Kuna pokucha, can you tell the exact moment? You cannot tell the exact moment, but you can tell Kuna Gizabaru. But before long, Mwangaza Gohuo, and everything comes to life. The birds, the animals, talk about everything, the human beings, everything comes to life. Why? Because under darkness there is no life. Under darkness there is no motion. Under darkness there is no focus. Under darkness there is struggle. Palipo na giza pananuru. Hallelujah. It's a severe. So there is no day, there is no ring between darkness and light darkness can never argue with light and light is forever superior to darkness the dominion of light over darkness is unquestionable and noiseless the dominion of light over darkness is unquestionable and noiseless have you ever had light making noise have you ever heard? Light, this light, have got no noise. Silently, you are enjoying light. Have you ever heard sun making noise? Sun don't make noise. Water does. But light don't make noise. As a Christian, we are making noise. Why? Because we have got no light. We have got no light of the world in us. The dominion of light over darkness is unquestionable and noiseless. John chapter 9, 5 to 7. John chapter 9, 5 to 7. Go for the word. For the light of a believer is in the word. Yes, so if you will. John chapter 9, 5 to 7. The supremacy of light. 
the supremacy of light. But while I'm here, in the world, I am the light of the world. Jesus Christ speaking. But while I'm here, as long as I'm in God, I remain to be the light. As long as I'm in the world. But while I'm here, in the world, I am the light of the world. Every believer ought to know this. In that family, you are the light. It's not if you will. And darkness ought not to question you. Darkness cannot contend with you. And there's no contention between light and darkness that darkness won the battle. Yes, if you will. Today I have this understanding. I've got a light in me and the light of Christ in me. And how do I get the light? I get the light from the word of God. And this word in the beginning was with God. And this word was God. Every time I eat the word of God, I'm charging myself. At the end of the day, I must emit the light of God. Yes, so if you will. When you have got a call that is fully charged, at night you don't care. Why? Because you have got the light. When the power goes on, you have got the light with you. You have got the touch with you. But it's so much to depend on the pastor. We so much to depend on churches. That's why many Christians on Sunday they open their Bible. They go home, they don't open the Bible. And you come on Sunday, you are questioning the pastor. You are not eating your word. That's why you are so much in darkness. You only like the Daniel. What light is that? May God help GTM. May God help GTM in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Verse 6 reads. Give me amplified. Give me amplified. Sorry. Amplified from verse 5. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world, giving guidance through my word and works. So God gives you guidance through his word. If you see anybody resisting the word of God in your life, you are so born again. You believe in every word of God. Let me be a fool and believe every word of God. It is in the Bible, and if it is in the Bible, then it must be God. And if it's not in the Bible, I don't care what you mean by what you are saying. You are a liar. Because the word of God can never lie. The word of God can never lie. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world, giving guidance through my word. And what? Verse 6. When he had said this, he stopped. Look at this. He said, as long as I'm here. Today I want you to see something. Don't say it's anointing. But he wanted to prove a point here. As long as I'm here, I'm the light. Meaning what? I can do anything I want to do because I'm a solution. Bring the light of the world to me what? You are a solution provider. And when you are saying this, what? I'm the light. As long as I'm here, I'm the light. He's part of the ground and made mad with his saliva and he spread the mud like an ointment. Sir? This man is blind. Are you okay? The light of God is reaching to a point not of gnosis, not of epignosis or genosco, but a level of idol I'm aware. And he said, What? As long as I am in the world, I'm the light of the world, and he's part of the ground. And he took the mud and he smeared on the blind eyes. And he spread the mud, mud like an ointment on the man's eye. Verse 7 says, And he said to him, Go wash in the pool of Siloam. Mm. Sir, there's no, there's no anointing here. He said, What? Well, I'm the light. And darkness cannot comprehend this. Darkness cannot question this. Sir, a time comes in your life and you tell all the witches, put your concussion together, put your cocktail together, you cannot kill me. Hallelujah. Why? You are operating in light. And he said to him, Go wash in the pool of Siloam, which is translated, said. So he went away and washed and came back seeing. He came back seeing. Today you are struggling because you don't have enough light. 
kuna wakati nilikuwa na I think gari fulani na katika ya madoido madoido with the help of my na ama sijui kama nilikuwa peke yangu I put some lights they were very good amen but one night nilikuwa limuru road limuru na kuru highway and it was foggy i nikoni make a full light i was seeing nothing nikafungua vyo i'm seeing nothing niliepuka lori hivi and god told me you will die because of light you will die because of light the same day i came back and told my na nirusha mata yangu give me my own light would see very well and i returned them why i almost died because of light only light no demon no devil no nothing no only light and many christians today are dying they are being crushed by the devil for no light they are not seeing well they are not seeing well i pray for you today as i pray for myself may god open your eyes may god open your eyes and may the light of god be evident in your life in jesus mighty name light is in degrees light is in degrees praise the lord if you are is 50 watts 4 watts and a fellow believer is operating at a degree of 100000 watts is not only a shining light but also a burning light light that burns hallelujah light that burns and i pray that all of us we shall become a light not only a shining light but a burning light that when you hear proper the planet and all the demons around you they get irritated that's the will of god that's the will of god concerning every believer dominion you cannot walk in dominion outside the light and light can only be gotten in the word of god light kasa labwa ni nyamasa whenever light strikes darkness sparks out any day any time Hallelujah. Light irritates darkness. Light. Light irritates darkness. Look at that. Kama kuna kamnyama manini everything comes clear. Do you know in the church we are harboring all man of evil in the church because there is no light. Sure. We are harboring all man of things. We are not able to see well. Tumona marundu rundu. Kuna yule mwenye mangwaje pasaje ndio pasaje ndio 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 redio yangu. Sikia acha kuona marundu rudu. Najua anga toa marundu rudu. Aje. Hapo ehe. Tuimbe vizuri tu. Ate. Alivu. Ndio acha kuona marundu rudu. Ata masiji yote ni acha kuona marundu church today why are we having so much evil in the church and some of us are seated in hiding in the church because there is no light in your life why are you so much attacked because there is no light Satan will never operate during the day or in the light that's why bats don't operate during the day and satan one of symbolic things that represents satan is about whenever light strikes darkness sparks out every encounter with the light of the word it empowers you to rule it empowers you to rule until you get to know something in the word you can never have dominion go for light go for light anything that you are You have got the light in. You become a ruler. When there's no light, a candle becomes everything in the house. One candle, everybody is fighting for that candle. I want to go and shower, give me the candle. I want to go to the kitchen, give me the candle. I want to go to the sitting room, give me the candle. One candle, everybody is fighting over it. But the church of the Lord light, the, the Lord light, we are equal and the same as the people of the world. It is in the light that you get to know I'm not supposed to be sick like the people of the world. 
I've got a body like them, but the light in me cannot conduct a disease. I'm like them, but I cannot be rich. I cannot be bewitched. It's a level, it's light. It's light. I was I was just reading about light. And there are some light that fry eggs. For those who have done lighting and electrical. Kuna mwangaza ambao una unakaanga mayai. Pema ni kule maniwogo. Iko. Iko. In the book of Isaiah chapter 9 verse 8. What? What? Have got all these elements. Yes, what's if you The Lord sent a word. Message? Just send a word. A message. Against Jacob and it falls on Israel. The third, give me KJV version, please. KJV. The Lord sent a word into Jacob and it has lighted upon Israel. He sent one word. He sent one word. God can send you one word. And that one word becomes a remedy to what they need. One word, it becomes the remedy, the antidote to TB. One word, and it becomes a remedy to barrenness. God give me a word. God can give you a word and you become a woman, a man in communion in business. One word. Why is Satan still having dominion over the church financially? It's because you don't have enough light in that given area. When you hear the issue to do is sacrifice, there is no way out. When you hear the word tithing, giving thanks, as a believer, it is the light that you operate in in that given area. The light. But if you don't have light, pastors are calling you. If you don't have the light, pastors are looting you. It will never work for you. But for many a time, we give and give and give. It has never answered back to us because you have got no light in that area. Yes. Let's go for light. Light is so sweet. And you have been ordained to rule by light. Yes. Light is sweet. You win with no noise, no shouting, no screaming. Sweatless victory. Sweatless victory. You may scare joy to be a new. Darkness, I'm coming. Clear? No. No. No noise. Darkness clears. Yes, sir. Clears. And when the sun exists, darkness comes. So, darkness is a coward. Mm -hmm. When there's no light, darkness will. Say, I love the light. I love the light of the Lord. Psalms 119, verse 130. How could you tell my people, Papa? Will you could have got a When you get it, I'm good to go. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Pastor, you are taught you could pick out the big and do. When that torch is directed towards you, go blind. Mm. Why it is too much light? Too much light. Too much light. Too much light. There are some lights you stand before. Most especially for airport. Everything about your clothes is about transparent. Mm. Mm -hmm. yes. You look at yourself on the other side. Screen. Mm. When you when you I want you go. You see nothing, you see your naked body. Light. Rays. They are so sharp, they don't recognize the clothing. Yes, sir. Your cloth becomes like transparent glass. And also in the spiritual. When your light is too high, no people can hide before you. Abba. When Jesus Christ was walking, and the man was living beside or in the graveyard. He saw him from a distance and he said, What? Have you come to the soyas before time? And who are you? Are you not the son of the living God? Meanwhile, even the demons recognized him that this is the son of the living God. The light that shines in the whole world. 
The light that nothing can hide. Demons of God are called. Sina jitambulisha. Sir, you cannot have the light of God and the demons around you, they are comfortable. There's no way. They are so comfortable because there's no one of God in you. There's no, no one. We are so much confessed we are born again. But there's no light of God in us. The light of God is not in us. Psalms 119, verse 130. The entering of a word given light. The entering. Hallelujah. So there's reading the word. And it's the word that enters. And many times you come to church and the word does not enter you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes, was if you were. The entering of thy word. Give a light. It give an understanding all to the symbol. The entrance of the word. The entrance of the word. The entrance of the word. Give it light. Until the word of God enters into you, you can never be impregnated or be pregnant with the light. When the word of God enters into you, it gives you light in a certain given area. I can never be poor. We are not only confessing there's what we have encountered. In the word of God, I can never be poor. I'm a son of the Almighty God. I can never be poor. Why? I've encountered the light of the word of God. I can never be a beggar. I shall not die single. Why? It is written in the word of God. I've gotten the word of God and the entrance of the word of God given me light. And you cannot have light and be hidden. You cannot have the light of God and be put under a bushel. Hallelujah. Yes, was if you will. As the revelation increases in light, we are illuminated to dominate our world. As we increase in revelation, as we increase in the word of God, the light of God illuminates your world. And it gives you dominion, dominion to rule your world. We are in the kingdom of light and to dominate. We are not in the kingdom of light to be dominated. Ni makosa. Ni makosa. Yes, as if you were. Let's go for the light. And that light is in the word of God. Colossians chapter 1, 13. Today I'll give you so many scriptures. So many. Colossians chapter 1, 13. Any version. Who have delivered us? The first deliverance that ought to happen to a man is mindset. The second one. Who have delivered us from the power of darkness and have translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. Give me the TPT version. We have been translated. We have been transferred from the kingdom of darkness. Meaning what? What happens in darkness ought not to be happening in the light. He has rescued us completely. Somebody say completely. completely. He has rescued us completely from the tyrannical rule of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom realm of his beloved son. Into the realm of his dear son. We have been translated. What is darkness? Oppression. What is darkness socially? What is darkness untimely death? What is darkness sicknesses and diseases? What is darkness begging and borrowing? It's not your portion as a believer. We have been translated, transferred from the kingdom of darkness into his kingdom, the kingdom of light. Meanwhile, we are children of light. The entrance is spiritual understanding of the truth. Understanding. I've understood the spiritual truth. The entrance is spiritual understanding of the truth. Understanding is the key to our dominion on earth. Understanding. Do you understand? First Thessalonians chapter 5, 4 to 8. God increase my light. God increase my light. During the day, when you put your four lights on, I'm a, you are, my lights are my doido. 
You just know. Those lights are just there for Madorido. And today we have got so many believers. Their lights are all near Madorido. Your lights are all needed at night. Confession is not enough. I'm born again. I'm going to church. I'm in praise and worship team. God increase our light that your appearance will not cheat us anymore. Amen. God increase the light of the pastors. Increase the light of the believers. That when I look at you, I feel you are in the sight. Hallelujah. Yes, what you feel. First Thessalonians chapter 5, 4 to 8, KJV. But you are not in darkness. But you are not in darkness. What is killing an unbeliever? Ought not to be killing you. Cholera ought not to be killing you. Sir, it's not a makeup. It is not a makeup. It is a reality. But all about your understanding. Yes, sir. There are some people I'm about you all in microwave. Mm -hmm. Microwave. Anything you put there, it is spoiled. Anything. Mazima boyo. Nyama boyo. Everything, it will boil. And some of us, we are spiritual freezers. Everything that comes into contact with you, it is frozen. You have no light. You have no word in you. I'm challenging you as I challenge myself. Go to the word. Go for the word. Be queen to the word of God. You cannot be cheated. Yes, as if you will. But you are not in darkness. Christian brothers. Christian brothers. Yes. Christian brothers. You are not in darkness. You are, you, you are not under the oppression of the devil. That that day we will not surprise you as a robber would. You are not under darkness, meanwhile, you are not to be surprised. Nothing will happen in your life as a surprise as a believer, sir. It is what you see in the light of the world that's what becomes yours. Then it goes ahead to say, For you are children of the light. You are children of the light and of the day. We are not of darkness or of night. This is your what you are these are. During the day, you are so good. Before people, you are born again. But when you leave the church, you become the latest devil in God. No. We are born again. And we are children of the light. What are your sick? You can never tell the color of anything. You can never tell the color of anything. Meanwhile, during the day, I can tell this is white. I can tell this is blue. I can tell this is black. Why? It is during the day, but during the night, you can never tell which color is which color. And the Bible says what? For you are children of the light and of the day. We are not of darkness or of night. Hallelujah. Verse 6. Keep awake. Do not sleep like others. Do not. Keep awake. Be vigilant. Charge yourself. Charge yourself with the word. Sir, with all humility. With all humility. We can eat the word of God that the lives of people become transparent. So transparent. So transparent. So transparent. So transparent. Keep awake. Do not sleep like others. Watch and keep your minds awake. To what is happening? To what is happening? And let me help you today. When Satan wants to whip you, he will blind you fast. Sure. You see nothing. Would I go like a blackout? What did you do? And what will follow next is a proper whip. Proper! For lack of light. And today, how many of us today who are crying? We are crying. Why? We are so blind. Gives light to us. I was listening to the son of Bishop David Oedepo, Isaac, and he said, A man of God brought my father, Bishop Oedepo, cloth which had juju to kill him and destroy him. But then, for the light, the man of God saw the clothing and saw evil in them. What about us? Anything given to you, you don't question it. You don't question food, you don't question. 
Tumekuwa kama matinda ya ndege. Anyway, nyoka inakuja kwa kiota and the moment matinda ama the chicks za ndege zinasikia ile sauti, zinavugua ngoma. You don't know who it is. May God open your eyes today. Amen. You cannot operate in dominion minus love the right. And the supremacy of life. You are going to a higher advantage over any person who does not have light. And people in business, they are doing business by guess what? But as for years and deliver, you are not doing your business as guess what? Yes. Can you be wise? Every time you open your business, somebody must come and tell you the party has changed. The same, same person every day. Every morning, this idea has changed. Every morning, the party has changed. And you, you are going to know like, she can change. She can change. Kwani hawoni, ame chukua vatu zako na mapema. They have taken your virtue. They have taken your virtue. Sister, give me a picture. I pray with you. Send me your best picture. And the next thing, your face is full of pimples, full of tumors, full of pain. Who told you? We are going to right. We are going to right. Today, we have got children under the attack of the devil. Right from birth, in the name of identity discovered. You know what I mean? I have a post of Mimba. Uchi. Gender reveal. Come on, Najua. Here. Sasa, you have a nini kwa Facebook. Uchi, Unyama. Na wana me pick up my goat here for Ivy. I have to hear you, Uchi. Come, Adam, Naiva. Na, and we are not at the battle to the Garden of Eden. They only do. <laughs> Gender reveal. What is it for? Will you give birth to something else apart from a girl and a boy? That you have never had. Yeah. Will you give birth to one thing that you have never had? Either a boy or a girl. Or a mother or a Gender reveal for what? Who needs to know? Ooh, I'm telling you. Lack of light. Lack of light. No light. No light. What is your nakedness doing in social media? A born again believer. The non believers they do so to sell their bodies. Why are you selling? Give us the price. Light. Sell my light. Light. Sell my light. Light. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, what if you were? Keep awake, do not sleep like others. Watch and keep your minds awake to what is happening. To what is happening. Be awake. Amka. Amka. Verse 7. People sleep at night. People sleep at night. Those who get drunk, do it at night. Do you know that? Do you know that? Those who sleep. Night. Sleeping here is dying. Do you know many people don't die during the day? Yes, Satan is stupid. That's why I always say sleep. And there are sisters. Yeah. One is younger. Come on, I'm going to sing this. 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 I'm going no light, no light, no light, no light. People sleep at night. People are bewitched at night. Those who get drunk do it at night. Then verse eight says what? But since we, but since he is talking to believers, and he's talking about sleep to the believers, but since we believers belong to the day, let us be sober. Let us be sober. What kind of a new mambo usi kwa giza? Let us be sober. Having put on the breastplate of faith and love and his helmet, the hope and confidence of assurance of salvation. Let's be sober. Let's be sober. Genesis 1, 3 to 5. Christians, where are we? Not only you, including me. We all need our eyes to be open. God, open my eyes. Open my eyes. 
open my eyes. There, there are these ways that when you go through the airport, wana kumulika kama watumbo, and they know to have wanapata vidonge vidonge ndani yako. Ni tatu, only light. And the same light is in the word of God. Unakuta mtu amekula vidonge, ana chanjo kwa kuwazaisha. Naambia my friend, kilo nilisho jana and the snake is leaping. I don't care. Have light please. Oh, have light. Yes. Have light. Have light. Light. Genesis 1:3 to 5. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. Meaning what? The world is full of darkness. And God is saying, let there be light. Out to now, he said, let there be light. And you are that light. That's why he said in the book of Matthew, you are the light of the world. And the salt of the world. For God saw God's darkness that have covered the people. People are under the presence of the devil. Under darkness. And God said what? Let there be light. And there was light. And there was light. Was five. Was four. God saw that the light was good, pleasing, useful, and we are found and sustained it. And God separated the light, distinguishing it from darkness. We are separated. Amen. I am not one with darkness. When people are dying of COVID-19, it's not your portion. Amen. We are separated. Can darkness be? You know, can, can light be complaining? Of what the darkness is complaining about? Hey, Pastor God, I'm only like them. So what? Today, by the grace of God, I can stand on this altar and testify this. Since I was born up to now, I've never been admitted to an hospital. See, I could not hospital in any commercial building. I've never been admitted. So you dream? That's the language that we are going to make. We are going to go as. Unafunga kwa nini? Kakamba. Sijai? Na sijui? Na staki? Na sio kujigamba. Look at this scripture. And God separated the light. And distinguishing it from darkness. You are born again a Didia, a believer, pastor in the making. Umeenda mgongo wazi hospitalini. Mgongo wazi. Huku nyuma ni kimasai. Mea na itoki. Hakuna? Then you come out. Light. Light. What are you doing? In what the people of darkness are suffering. A drunk and I'm a queen. You have no one. So I'm going to study it. You are not drunk. Do you know the place you do here? It's spiritual. It's Man, things happen. Things happen. Things happen. And there's no way can praise God like this. Praise God. Jump for him. Search for him. And see Search for the devil. There's no way. I am in the light. And darkness cannot comprehend it. Amen. Unquestionably, I'm above darkness. Any day, any time. I don't need to announce my arrival. Yes, sir. And that's why every darkness. And I'm going to I'm not okay. Darkness. Psalms 119. 103 to 105. Go for the word. Tu meongea sana magazeti ya Bunuasi, Hekasa Bunuasi. That's why you look like them. Hekasa Bunuasi. I don't know it's my money to buy newspapers. For what? For what? By the what the newspapers are writing is what the TV is saying. Still news. Yes. Still. Still, hallelujah. Amen. What you call Karen? Tomorrow it will be useless. No wonder the politicians say what? Go for the word of God. Go for the word of God. How sweet are thy words? All to my taste. Yeah. Sweeter than honey to my mouth. How sweet are thy words? How sweet. Kula neno likuwe tamu dani yako. You cannot operate in dominion and you cannot walk in dominion as a believer outside the word. Hallelujah. How sweet your words taste to me. They are sweeter than honey. Your commandments, look at this, your commandments was for what on for through thy precepts I get understanding. Through thy precepts. Oh, I understand. I understand. 
I understand. Through thy precepts, I get understanding. Therefore, I hate every false way. I hate it. Indeed, light gives advantage in warfare. You cannot go to warfare and own a torch and usiku utalimwa. In spiritual warfare, we gain advantage over the enemy by operating by the light of God's word over the enemy. What a mumbi mengi and then eno. Prayers don't give you dominion. It is the word that you put into prayers that gives you dominion over the devil. The word turned into prayers, not empty prayers. Some prayers are so empty. No one word. Two hours. You have not quoted one scripture. Satan, you know me. Satan, Satan. I come from Kinyaga. Satan, Satan. You have fear. You have to make sure my body. You have to make sure you Fear, Nini. You have to go happy. Satan, you have to make sure you are not going to be afraid. Satan, you Luke chapter 15, 8 to 9. Let's go for light. God, open my eyes. Open. Give me the light of the word. Or what woman? Or what man? Having ten silver coins. GTM, hear me. Or what woman? Having ten silver coins. If she loses one coin, does not light a lamp. Pastor Vincent, these were okay. Until the year 20, Vinyangwashen. Whichever year. Yes. Hallelujah. But things change. That is enough. You had 10 coins. You lost one. Does not light a lamp sweep the house? Figurative language. Mm. Eh? 10 coins. What you report there? Light the lamp, wash a ninita, and the entrance of your word give it light. The entrance of your word give it light. Yeah, God, I've been praying the same prayer. Yeah, I've lost one year, I've lost the second year. Pray the same prayer. Why will I be settled in marriage? Wash a car, nata, ineno. Hallelujah. And people get the coin. God is telling me, Pastor, uh -uh, I've never seen you like this. Something is wrong in your life. Something is wrong. Nini, Pastor Napujua, you are a product of favor. Yes. You are a product of favor. Mm. But that favor is not questionable. Nini, mm. Nibaya. The money that is to command, why is it? And I sat down. In when I'm here. Or what man? What woman having ten silver coins? If she loses one coin, meaning what pastor you have lost favor with money. You have lost it. Does not light a lamp, sweep the house, and search carefully until she finds the one coin. And I told Pastor Joy. That's a man that goes in the soil. I can make a match with your partner. So go sour. I go sour, Pastor. I go sour. And I sat myself, and I came back to her. Can be a certain found me at my weakest point. 2022, when I lost my father, somebody prayed for me. As you bury your father, you bury your fortunes. You bury your fortunes. You bury your financial fortune. Mm -hmm. Meaning what? It's not everybody who was around me, Kongoleza. Mm -hmm. Some were looking for a way to marry me also. And from that time, Samson, I struggled financially. I know myself. I know myself. I know. I looked at myself. I looked at my phone. All the messages come 2022, July. Things change for me forever. But I thank God, and thou shalt.
shall know the truth, and the truth that you shall know shall set you free. You to sit down. What have you lost? I had a friend almost going home to introduce himself to my parents, to my family. One, two, three, four, five. Go when they go home. Me put this happy. Every time I pray for a job, when they're almost taking me, the next day the camera will be closed. Ni ni ni. Ni ni ni. Bona. 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 Light your lamp. And until we sit with the word of God, question the word of God. Everything you are looking for is in the word. Everything. Everything. That is, it says, verse 9. And when she has found it, she calls her friends and neighbors together and say, Rejoice with me, for I have found the peace which I lost. May you recover your all. May you recover your all. May you recover your all. May God open your eyes. May God open your eyes to know exactly what is hitting you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Arise and shine. For your light has come. Arise. Meaning what? You changing levels is determined by the light that you conduct. Arise. Shine. For your light has come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Verse 2. For behold. For behold. The darkness shall cover the earth. And God's darkness the people. The people will be covered. By darkness, but you arrive because you have got the light, you have got the solution. And when people see you, they will celebrate you because you are a solution provider, a solution carrier. But the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. Somebody say, Amen. amen. Give me NLT, NLT, NLT. Arise, Jerusalem. Arise to them. Let your light shine for all to see. For all to see. Salvation is to be seen. Salvation is to be seen. For the glory of the Lord rises to shine on you. Verse 2. Darkness as black as night covers all the nations. Meaning what? See, okay, yeah. Kenya in Ashida. All the nations of the earth. As long as it's a nation. Kutakuwa na darkness over the nations of the world. But as for you, you don't need to put on a sufuria. Go for light. God show me what to do in the midst of this. Show me what to do. Then he says, but, the, but you, but the glory of the Lord rises and appears over you. Verse 3. All nations will come to your light. All the nations. All the nations. There are some years back, People used to fight and maintain well. Bishop Oedepo was fought. He's giving people this, this cultic church in Nigeria. You know, they're anointing people. They're giving people to drink oil. Right now, people, even the witches, they're drinking oil. <laughs> and Kenyans, you are very good. Tell me what you said. You're not going to go to the house. Hallelujah. Why? Because he got the light and people are fighting. But today, all of them are there now. All of them. The entire world. You cannot talk about ministers of the gospel and not talk about him. Light. 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 People have fought deliverance. Look at Nyemelea. Nyombe. 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 During the week here, what are you fighting today? Because you don't know. You don't know. Then he says, verse 4. Look and see, for everyone is coming home. Everyone is coming home. Your sons are coming from distant lands. Your little daughters will be carried home. Look at the power of light. Verse 5. Your eyes will shine and your heart will be real with joy. For merchants from around the world, your eyes will shine and your heart, your heart will drill with joy. From Wanabiashara, merchants from around the world will come to you. They will bring you wealth of many lands, Amen. dollars, sterling pounds, kwacha, 
they will bring to you, not when you pray. I have prayed for people that I don't know. At the end of the day, Pastor Pokia Sadakayangu. In dollars! And in the time, because I never knew what was going on, Satan captured me. Wait, 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 wait. My friend, you mean you're sure? Ah, you live in Akisheta. You live in Akisha. Now, who be there to come to Okweli? Then, you might have 40 days. I say, D. First thing I say, D. Light. God of Nina Nikula. Nini, Nini, Nini. Mona, Mona. I'm teaching you, God, give me light. Oh, God, give me light. Light is your prayer to prayers. Any day, any time. At night, sir, you are going to light pray. God, I'll see like fire. God, I'll see like a bulb. Finish the same name. See. Daddy! Sir, light is superior to prayers. Light is superior to fasting. Light is superior. Go for the word. Light. 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 Abba, to enjoy the dominion of light, we must continually connect to God's word because it is the entrance of his word that gives light. The entrance of the word. Light. Light. And the word of God will never argue with you. And I can stop this. Ah, Pastor Paul Mzuri. Pastor Paul Nakuramba. Nakuramba Vizuri. Hey, hey, hey. It is today God spoke to me. I looked at my son. What happened to your accounts in cooperative bank? Kambi, I don't know. You have only remained with the cards and number. Father, every witch, it's no witch. God give me light. Some things I won't see them. Light, light, light. God, give me light. God, I pray, give me light. Light, light, light. Light, light. Mm. Mm. God give me light. Who is cooking for me? And cooking what? Cooking what? And cooking what? Mungu ni patiwa. Mbate huwa ngasa. Unangalia sufuria unawana kila kitu ndani. Mkwachi ya hapo. Sita kuingia zaidi hapo. Let's go for light. And just give you one point and you go home. My time is over. Yes, so if you were. Number one, how do, we, how do we assess the light of the word? How do we assess the light of the word? Only one point. It is a treasure. If you don't pan for it, you can't get it. Desperation is vital. To encounter with light, we rule and reign by light. I was asking myself, when is it going when did I go wrong? And God told me, when you are weak, when you are so weak, when you are vulnerable, Satan attacked you. Psalms 42, 1 and 2. Malizi hapa. This one is so sweet. Unavutanga Ariel kama kesho. Unavutia mute Ariel bali sana. Mbali! Yuta nyelewa kesho. God, I need your light. Sir, so you cannot operate in dominion. Mm-hmm. There's no business you'll do. Yes. As they dear, oh God, open, may God open your eyes. Amen. To know what has stagnated your marital destiny. Yes, sir. What has stagnated me, oh God, open my eyes. It will shock you. A lady called me from US, can be a pastor. I dreamt my mother, my own biological mother. I saw her. She took my wedding gown and my ring and coins and buried them. And there, hey, hey, your mother, hey, ring, wedding gown, 
and coins. Buried it. As the deer pants for the water brooks, so pants my soul for you, O God. As the deer panted for the waters, O God. My heart panted for you, O God. Verse 2. My soul thus for God, for your word, for the living word. When shall I come and appear before God? Yes. Oh God, when? I pant for you. Church pant again for the word of God. Pant, pant. I then go for prayers. I then go for fasting. The word of God makes your spiritual senses to be alive. Amen. Oh, your spiritual senses. Why are your spiritual senses not working? Because you are not given to the word. God, the appetite for the word, give it to me. Be on your feet, please. Be on your feet. Holy Spirit. Have you moved to? Give me the appetite. Give me the appetite. The water is on my soul. Thee. You 